back to another episode of Stellar Sound Podcast. Here at Stellar Sound, we connect all European artists together under one giant umbrella. And that umbrella <laughs> is the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host for this segment, Mr. Justin Williams. As you know, I reside from good old Canada. But today, my guest, whoa, oh, she's feeling a little pierogi in her life. That's what I'm talking about. Likes a little bit of sour cream, maybe some cheese. That's all I really know about Poland, that. And I know Robert Lewandowski, or Robert Lewandowski. And the Euros in 2020. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the next guest, who I'm going to introduce to you just by name, but she's going to tell you what she's all about. And I'm going to butcher her last name because I already forgot how to say it. But let's try it. Anna Adachanyak. <laughs> nice try. Nice oh, try. God, I got the nice try comment. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, how you doing, my dear? Hello, I'm Anya Nahata. Nice to meet you here. <laughs> Anahata, it's very simple. Anahata. It's very simple. Like Anna, Anna, and Hata, it means in Polish uh, house. Anahata. Anahata. So you're like Anna House, I see. <laughs> no, this is the name is uh, from Sanskrit, from Hinduism. Anahata, it's like uh, heart chakra. And it is. <laughs> so a little behind the scenes for the fans right now. We had trouble connecting, uh, which was very poopy. So thank God this wasn't a live interview. But uh, if for whatever reason the interview does cut out, we will notify you and then obviously we'll restart the interview and you guys are just here kind of chopping, but this interview will get done today. Damn it. Anyways. Perfectly. Tell the fans who may not know you who you are and what is it you do. Okay. Hello. So hello, everyone. I'm Anya Nahata and <laughs> a musician and like professional musician. I'm professional violist and uh, vocalist. And I love each, a lot of different instruments, <laughs> like ethno stuff. Yeah, so I'm doing the, my own uh, music, ethno trip hop and ethno pop. And this is my, my gender. Damn, look at you, so talented. Jesus, okay, 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 okay. So you play multiple instruments and you sing. Which do you prefer to yeah. do? It depends on situation, but I think that... Um, singing is is this what i really love to do and this exploring since few years because uh, you know i was playing on uh, start to play on violin when i was eight years old something like that so i'm doing like the whole studying the the with violin and since maybe five or six years i'm exploring my voice and this is like amazing journey because this is because uh, the instrument here is your body, so you everything what you're doing with body, you're feeling that too. So this is so much intimate process for me, and yeah. So answering your question, I think that <laughs> it's just singing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was perfect. I love when answers kind of go off the rails. You know, it's a good question when it starts off just like, "Hey, here is this," but also here's a side story. You know what I mean? Which Exactly. I thought it was amazing. Now, when did you first take interest in music? Like, how young were you? Something like seven, six. I saw the, this violist, violin player, classical, and a little bit pop. She was the first. Uh, she was, uh, you know, the, 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 the girl from China. She was the first one in early 90s. I was barely born so... then. <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry I, f I forgot it totally but yeah I saw her when she's dancing with her violin in the ocean and she just you know dancing there and she has so much fun and I said okay I want to do that too <laughs> get me an ocean and a violin damn it yeah and uh, and later of course I listened to Apocalyptica a lot a lot and I said, okay, I will grow. And when I will be adult, I want to set up this kind of uh, group. <laughs> and, but from the girls, not from, from men, like that. And I've done that. And I had uh, the Red Hills group too. There are three girls on the string and we are playing some kind of cover rock, rock covers and pop covers with the beats too. So that obviously works better for you then. Quite nice, yeah. I was gonna say, well, I hope so. Nobody ever does anything. And it's like, you know what we want to do? This to like hinder us. No, nobody says that. It's like, why would you do that? 
Yeah, so so it was the answering <laughs> question. It was my first impulse to make music and, and doing that in my life. And then it transforming, of course, when I get growing. I feel like the next question I ask you, somehow it's going to end up into like your favorite food. It'd be like, so what was your favorite song that you wrote? And you'd be like, well, that's impressive. I was eating my favorite <laughs> meal, which happens to be ordered from my favorite restaurant, which was also, and then my favorite person who is, and be like, oh, okay, awesome. So out of all your repertoire of music that you sing that you do, is there a song which resonates with you, either a song that you've performed or a song that you've heard really resonate with you? I think that there is few songs like that. Okay. For different reasons, sure I imagine. My, yeah. And for sure, it's my song, one of my songs, um, my first song I've recorded. It's a Demiush. Have you listened to that? Maybe? I actually took a bunch of your stuff because I was thrown into this interview very last second and I just started playing every song. So I know I've heard a lot of your stuff. I just couldn't okay. put a name to what I've heard. I'm like, this okay. sounds nice. So, so this song, I make a video clip to that song. And this is the video clip when we are sitting uh, next to, we are standing, in fact, we are standing uh, around uh, oak tree, very big oak tree. And uh, this song is the prayer, a druid prayer. So the legend said that uh, the words from this prayer has a healing vibe. So this is like, because uh, uh, there in, uh, in the lyrics, they are they're using tru, tru, because these are French lyrics. And they say that because uh, of this tru, <laughs> we have these abilities, special abilities uh, for healing because of that. And this is like kind of magic stuff. Oh, some like black music magic. I love it. <laughs> black music. <laughs> no black, like, like white music, white witch, white music. It's weird how it's like black magic is supposed to be can seem like evil and then white witch is also, and it's like, what color do you have to be to be nice? <laughs> like, I choose the white. I choose the white. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I'd be like, you know what? I'm just gray at this point. Like, whatever. <laughs> it's like a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, so this this song, and of course, if I need to choose somebody else, of course, it will be stuff of Olaf Arnold's. I love them. I love and last CD, the what is the name? The the place where we born. I think something like that. Amazing. But everything what Olaf was doing, it's like being in the ceremony, <laughs> like a big meditation. It's amazing for me. I feel like if you're going to do that, you should probably get one of those like sound bowl things and start like touching around it, making that like echo thing. Just really get into like quite literal tune with people. Just mm -hmm. get your Zen flow. I feel like it'd be cool. All right. So you've worked on that. You've, you've, you've had that going for you. Now, what's the next step within your, your career? What, what do you want to do? What's the next project? Firstly, I want to end this uh, first album because because <laughs> it's almost ready. But I need to just record two songs more, and it will be done. And the next step is to find publisher to find uh, you know some company which publish me the that uh, that CD and maybe some manager to maybe finding some guy or woman who knows uh which will be doing the beats because now i'm doing uh, in in my stuff i'm doing everything since from the beat to the vocals to all instruments so. you're just uh, a one-man band huh yeah jesus <laughs> like you know <laughs> four hands here <laughs> you're also in the audience too cheering yourself on <laughs> you're just like Whoa. i'm using the audience when i'm singing Please do that. <laughs> you know, this is so, so much simple to just do the one bit. Start bringing people up to play instruments. You know, you're part of the band, start playing. <laughs> you know, we are cutting the costs. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> so you get free water, that's it. It's like, all right. Everybody has fun, so. Everybody has fun. We all need to have fun these days. We all <laughs> got to. Jesus. Especially with COVID being trapped and, and everything, just kind of ruined concerts music shows all that stuff like as a comedian i missed the stage it recently <laughs> opened up in canada so i've been doing shows as often as possible 
and uh, yeah it just it, it gets to you after a while like i was tired of these zoom shows i was tired of being like yeah having my fake mic and i'm like let me tell you about like it's just <laughs> and then like when it's your turn yeah right it's your turn and then like the, the feed drops and nothing beats a live yeah. show nothing yeah. i can totally agree when you don't feel your the energy yeah in in the sailing of audience it it is not the same thing and yeah it's like a difference too like after you have a good show somebody comes up to you and goes you did well you're like thanks versus somebody like yeah, sends you yeah. a message <laughs> yeah and you don't hear the feedback simultaneously yeah so it's like is anybody hear me i'm really on <laughs> is, it, is this thing on oh yeah exactly that uh yeah i know that i do some concerts online and it was like <laughs> <laughs> why <laughs> it's the absolute it's like i have to do it to keep me sharp but also why <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's one of those things yeah, it happens to the best of us but speaking of the best of us so it looks like you have a game plan going forward for your next album or for the album coming out with two more songs left which is fantastic what has been the challenge you faced aside from the pandemic for this mm -hmm. album yeah I, th I think that the challenge for me was to find a uh, money for collecting the money for recording that cd but i i've uh, set up the crowdfunding oh story. okay yeah. Yeah. so Woo. yeah my friends are very generous people and it was like wow it's really going on they believe in you that's it they believe in me exactly so that it was quite demanding but also like okay I am here, you see me, I see you. So it was beautiful, yeah. That pressure must be insane though. Like you're doing that and your friend gives you a hundred bucks and you're like, ah, <laughs> better make sure this doesn't suck. <laughs> like, you know, I'd be, I'd be, I wouldn't want my friends to donate. I don't even want my friends to come to my shows. Cause I don't want them to be like, I paid 10 bucks for this crap. <laughs> like, you did, <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> but always you can ask for refund later. So. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> so much pressure. <laughs> so I don't tell my friends to come. I'm like, yeah, screw it. Hey, in this episode of Stellar Sound Podcast is brought to you in part by Dungeons and Dragons' very own The Corruption of Cave Star. Now this was made by Faye, F-A-E Games. Totally awesome. I cannot stress how wonderful this book is. Down from the literature, down to what you actually have to do. At some point in the game, it's it tells you you have to go underneath the city into some weird kooky mines because people keep leaving you. And you're like, what the hell? I don't want to go into these mines. But you know what? You're the protagonist, so you're going to the damn mines. So bring some weapons with you, have some friends, because this is going to be such a great time. I cannot stress to you enough how wonderful this game was. And I have no reason to lie to you guys. I don't know you, and I love Dungeons & Dragons. So when they asked me, hey Justin, do you want to read this and then talk about it if you like it? I'm like, hell yeah. So I did that, and you know what? I went back to them and I said, yeah, I can support this. I can get 100% behind this. This is an awesome, awesome RPG. And this specific one, The Corruption of Cave Star, I think it's probably the best. And it rolls well with 5 and 3.5. Typically, you're supposed to use it for 5, but, I mean, nobody's splitting hairs. You might be able to roll it with 3.5 as well if you make some modifications to it. Um, if you're interested, you can find a digital copy at Drive Through RPG or order exclusively the physical copies through the podcast. You know, we'll hook you up. We got you guys. Don't forget, that's Faye, F A E Games.com. Go check them out. Go give them a look. See what you can do. Digital copies, they're just as good as the physical copies, guys. Please enjoy. Okay, so <laughs> that I can see obviously being the, the hardest part. What was the easiest part of making this album? You know, for me, it's hard to tell about the difficulties and the easiest part because I'm recording this album since two years, I think. And it is like I'm growing with this project with Anahata. This is like um, I'm doing the stuff which coming through in my life. So it's like, okay, so I will tell the story. It will be good for me and for myself. So like i don't thinking about oh it's hard or not or this is the easy or not i'm just trying to do that with just where i am in that moment and maybe this is a little bit hard because 
sometimes you don't want to connect with your inner, inner voice and going from follow that but i get that there's certain things yeah, that... well like again just to relate it back to, to comedy and for those of you who don't understand who are fans of anna I, i've mentioned this before i'm a comedian there's topics that we want to talk about like either it's a breakup a divorce something tragic you did something dumb you did and you're like i don't know if i really want to talk about this on stage but from the truth comes funny from the truth comes music it becomes the truth becomes yourself and you're just more honest with the audience and they resonate so much more with you right like mm -hmm. i've i've done dumb things i've talked about them like this like i got so drunk one time i tried to put a quarter instead of a gas instead of my, my car ignition and like just dumb things like that and i'm like ah oh, it's so stupid and i tell my friends like that's hilarious right or you like if you talk about i don't know maybe you're in a relationship and then that relationship went south and you sing about that that's that's tough because if that song is good, you're going to have to think about that breakup for years, yeah. right? And it's not just one song, like one song and done. I'm sure it's like five songs about the breakup or at least various parts of it. So like to give yourself, to show yourself that, to show your cards is impressive and needed. And I think is honestly the hardest part of any entertainer's business is airing your dirty laundry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there is um, power in that. Yeah. So... And, uh, you know, the strength, something which is, I think that this is the most important thing when you're doing art, some kind of art, it doesn't matter if you're a comedian or a musician or a painter, this um, being in the total truth with yourself and doing that. I think that I'm trying to telling about that in my music, about this being in the truth with yourself, because when you are in that connection everything works perfectly around you when you are just you know be with your boundaries with your yeah, with your connection the magic starts going on around you everything just start to just flow flow i get it yeah this is this is my main inspiration for music i think Th this connection this uh, <sighs> this knowledge taken from uh, nature, taken from spiritual leaders around the world, taken from the book of uh, Clarissa Pinkolaestes, uh, the woman who, who runs with the wolves, too. Do you know that book? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm being judged because I don't know something. <laughs> so I totally recommend this book because it's like, wow. Can you text this it to me? Yeah, of course. I can text it because uh, this book is about... Debbie Clarissa is a Jungian psycho psychoanalyst and she collects every myth from Americas. Okay. And uh, through the myths, through the, this symbolic teaching, she, she shows us um, the archetype of woman. Oh. And behind that, we have uh, intuition for me, this archetype of intuition. So it's, it's bothering both genders too. So it's mainly it's about finding your true voice inside you and following that. So it's a big stuff, but I think it's worth to do that. That's like the book, uh, The Alchemist. Yeah, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good book. Solid read. Yeah. I have to reread that book. It's been too long. <laughs> yeah. So you should. So you should like the Clarissa. I feel like I would. I like those books, kind of inspirational. I like those movies, documentaries. I like hearing underdog stories and people making it or their inspiration as to why. It's just it's motivating, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, this might be a little too far in the future, but have you already thought about your second album and, this is a two-parter, so have you already thought about your second album and have artists come to reach out to you to collaborate? So, yes and yes. <laughs> Girl, spill the beans. Tell me all about it. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Um, I think that this album will be about finding the one. Whew. Have you found the one? The, yeah, because I'm looking for the one. And this album will be about uh, finding this love inside of you. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's not about the other person, but about your heart. It's so like the square root of one. Yeah, like you, you have to have this when you want to share this. <laughs> so you have to the that this. So it will be about that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's dropping knowledge bombs in order to have this <laughs> to share this. My God, 
Slow down. I wasn't prepared for a life lesson. <laughs> Jesus. Take your seat <laughs> and your belt. <laughs> exactly. I just strap myself in. Let's go. Okay. Now, because you are, you have a beautiful voice, your sound is captivating and everything about your music is very, it resonates in certain levels, at least for me and I'm sure to other people around the world who have heard it. Have other, you've mentioned, yes, that artists have reached out to you, but how is it? Is it like, hey, I want to be on a song with you or hey, do you want to be on a song with me or hey, do you want to collaborate? I think that it will be do natural without, you know, asking somebody like, hey, I found you on Google and can you just record something with me? I think, no, maybe I will go for some concert or somebody will come for my concert and we just, you know, find each other somewhere. Sometime. The one? <laughs> the one? No, I don't want to musician really, no. Yeah, but we'll see what life will bring me yeah life will bring you everything you just have to make sure that you know what to do with it maybe not right away you can store it but life will hand you stuff that you can handle mm. you know what i mean it's like the expression yeah, exactly exactly yeah and i fully I believe think that. that i think that when we are connecting with this inner voice inside of us inner anya or justin so when we have this connection we are we finding the connection to the general wisdom of the earth too you know what i mean yeah and when you're finding this connection you know that you have you start to have faith to life generally and start to know that everything will be okay and the perfect time and perfect people will show show up in in your in your life it will show up in your time. life perfect, perfect. Hey, I was going to say perfectly in perfect time. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I, I like, I love to speak a lot. <laughs> I'm glad you do. <laughs> All right, Anna. So where can our fans find you on social media? Like what are your handles? Okay. Of course. And also yeah. what is the last thing you want to discuss in regards to your music, to your career, to inspiration? The floor is yours. Take it away. Okay, so of course I invite you all for my social media on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channel, and it, it's all. <laughs> what what's your handle? Like my, my Twitter handle is at jus one zero Williams for all of her fans. No, for fans, uh, mine's just Anya Nahata. Just look like like that everywhere. Oh, perfect. We'll throw in the link below. Yeah, cool. Thank you. No worries. So find me the. It will be nice to be connected. And what I want to talk about. Yeah, I know what I want to talk about. Do it. Two things. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Floor is yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, about my thinking, for sure. There are so many things I want to tell you. Tell all my fans, all, all the audience. We can always do a second interview later on. And this, this isn't like one and done. We're like, we're not like, thanks for your time. Like, no, no, we'll call you back. We'll treat you right. Take you to dinner. Call you back. Tell you. you know. Okay. I, I know. I know. I want to tell about the story. Okay. How I connect to my song, Kayo. Do it. Do it. I'm so excited to hear this. Go ahead. <laughs> the song, which I have, I have a music video to that song on my YouTube channel. So I really warmly invite you to watch that because we've recorded that song in uh, Tenerife. Ha! It's amazing view. But what I wanted to say that um, the the Kayo came came through me, literally, <laughs> literally during the series of meditation because I have uh, some spiritual leader from Taino uh, tribe from Caribbean. And he is, sometimes he is in Poland too. And he is organizing some workshops like a vision quest workshops. It's like meditation workshops. Okay. And we, we had some spare time there. And my teacher asked me to play on singing bowls and to sing like I always do. And uh, I start to do that. And the words of that song literally comes from me. And I had no idea what I'm singing about, but I was, you know, in really good flow there. 
and I have ended and I think, okay, I need to record that, that uh, melody and these uh, words, because it's quite cool. And on the, on this place well, was uh, my friend from, from Hawaii and he's a Filipino guy. And he said, he asked me, oh, Anya, do you know Filipino language? And I said, no, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know this language at all. And he asked, come on, but you were singing in that language the moment ago. <laughs> and I said, wow. So, and the, the words has sense, some, some sense <laughs> too. Damn, it blows my mind, really. So I've started to finding out to search what, what this um, words means. Please do and let me know. And yeah, I, I, I know already. <laughs> oh, perfect. I thought you were about to. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I found it. And uh, it has different meanings in different languages. But what I find that in Hinduism, the kaya means heat or vital fire, which flows through entire system. In Buddhism, means the, the body mm, which contains four elements. And in Kahuna language, in Kahuna tradition, means strength, abilities, influence, and energy. And in Japanese, <laughs> it means forgiveness. Yeah, so big stuff, I think. And uh, for me, the Kayo is an uh, emanation of female energy about this voice settled in four directions in five elements so for me there is the earth which gives you the foundation for everything is representing by body and the earth is like intellect the fire the energy of vitality which stimulates you to act of course and the water is feelings emotions our subconscious and mind and everything and in when we are collect everything and just you know, going through every every each element, it really have big meaning. <laughs> I love that. That was you brilliant. Yeah, it was. It was a good meaning, man. I just because you're looking there somewhere. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm like. He's listening to me. I'm listening all? to you, but I'm just thinking. <laughs> like I have, a, I have a blank wall behind me, so it's literally just white, so I can use it to like envision things, which is what I do often, like when I'm writing stuff or like. Just mm -hmm. listening to like lectures when I used to do stuff online, I would just stare at this white wall and just kind of paint my own image and, and what it means to me. Mm -hmm. So I just imagine you standing there and just like playing this and, and speaking words that aren't your language and having somebody come up to you and be like, yo, that actually made sense. First off, it's very tranquil and just weird on its own. And then, and then you sit there and you're like, this shouldn't make sense. This is impossible. And then you find out it has deeper meanings and you're like, I'm out like <laughs> so I was with you the whole time but I was just I was thinking I was like cool. god damn yeah so in the music video I want to find a place where I just you know take a really big breath in my chest and be with that four elements in the same time so if you watch this video you can see that uh, it has four parts there representing each element there and in the end, there's combination of uh, all elements in this female energy, which I'm representing there. So it was like very big stuff for me. Yeah, but as, as I said uh, earlier, that this energy is about, not about the genders, yeah? It's about something which we all has all the time and all time is waiting for us there. Well, on that note, <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying tuned for the... Oh my God, that was... I need to go research some stuff and read some books after. Don't forget to send me that, by the way. Jesus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our time for now. As you know, we've cut our episodes down for used to be an hour and now they're about... But if you guys want to hear some more of Anna, please let us know. We'll have her scheduled back for later on. Definitely after her album releases, we're going to have to have her back. Maybe those two songs will be a little different. We don't know. Do a little... Uh, see yeah, Exactly. Do a little see what's happening here. Uh, maybe next time she'll post videos of her penguin shoes, which you guys did not get to see at the beginning of this, but I did, and that was awesome. All right, Anna, thank you so much for being here. You're thank amazing. You, I'm going to keep in contact with you because I feel like we have a lot to discuss. Your vibe and energy is amazing. And, uh, thank you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for invitation. Anytime. <laughs> and thank you for listening to us. It was a very big pleasure to be 
here and to speak with you on the other side of the world. Gotta love technology. Wow.